What is up, my cranky crew? We see the cranky guys, and today we are here. It already started. It started automatically, so I'm sorry you didn't get to see the title screen. But this is called the Dark Side Detective. I found this game on Game Jolt. I was actually kind of mad because I recorded an awesome video for like an hour and a half today, and then the uh, recording got deleted, and it is now to uh, 12:30 at night. I didn't think that I was gonna have to record because I recorded all my videos today, but I have to go to work early in the morning tomorrow. So I thought it's a cool a really highly rated uh, short indie game And so I'm gonna play it for you today. So hello, sir. How are you? How are you? I don't want to quit the game. What is case book? Okay, what do we got for cases case one investigate? Jenny go bye-bye What are we investigating? Hello officer. Whoa, I almost shot you there detective. You shouldn't be sneaking around like that I'm sorry Dooley, you saw me drive up. Uh, I had my siren on. This is awkward. You waved at me. <laughs> I, I guess this place has to be spooked out a little. So what happened here? Chief Scully, Chief Scully just called me up and told me to get here ASAP. No details. Seven-year-old kid, Jenny, went missing a day ago. Not, no sign of her leaving the house. Seems to be kind of spooky crap. I mean, the ca the kind of case you deal with. I mean, the kind of case you deal with, McQueen. Great. Let's get started. Alright, let's get started. Let's go inside here. I like how her last name is McQueen. It's like Lightning McQueen. Alright. Hello, Father. Officer Dooley, why is there a hobo dripping all over my carpet? That's Detective McQueen, Mr. Taylor. He's here to investigate. Excuse me. Where were you last night? Where were you on the day of today? <laughs> um, let's ask her that. I was out. Hmm, seems suspicious. Sounds shady. You got an alibi? Where I was is none of your business, detective. My taxes pay your salary. They also pay for the cell and questioning room I'm going to have Dooley here take you to. Ha <laughs> ha ha! Fine. Here, call this number, they'll vouch for me. You receive matches. This is a matchbook from Busty Bell's Booty Boutique. <laughs> okay, tell me about Jenny. I'll level with you, detective. I don't have much dealings with her. I leave to I leave that to the nanny. She's around here somewhere. Alright, well let's go find the nanny. Let's go up the stairs. Hmm. Daughter's bedroom, master bedroom, portrait. Seems like a sweet kid. I hope I can find her. All right, let's go in the daughter's bedroom. Who is this? Is this the nanny? Oh, no, this is the mother. Tell me where she is, bear. <laughs> I'm only kidding. You don't know. You're a bear. <laughs> Stupid, no nothing bear. All right, let's ask the mother. Um, hello, can I ask? My baby! My baby is gone! She just disappeared. My baby! Is there anything? You have to find her. Well, looks like we're not getting. She's too uh, hysterical. Uh, too hysterical to be of any use. Pens. The label says, "For use under blacklight." Hmm. Let's turn that on. Oh wait. I'm no Picasso myself. Hmm. Okay. For use under blacklight. Huh. All right. We'll have to keep that in mind in the future. Officer Julie, what's up? This is a lot of pink. No wonder the kid ran off. Not funny. There's a missing child. <laughs> All right, let's go to the master bedroom. Let's see. Ah, the nanny. Uh, what's the nanny doing in the master bedroom? Nothing suspicious, that's for sure. No siree. Doesn't seem suspicious at all. She's um, she's a good kid. Spoiled and sticks her nose where it doesn't belong. But that's what having a but that's what having super rich parents will do to you, I guess. Hmm, I'm keeping my eye on you, nanny. Painting. It's hard to believe that this picture and the crying woman are one and the same. Hmm, family portrait. Jenny and her mom looking quite happily, happy in this picture. But no father, huh? Suspicious. Okay, let's go to the hallway. Hmm. Oh, the attic. Aha! Let's go up. Let's go investigate. Uh, paint thinner. The paint thinner spilled that sh when that shelf broke. You receive paint thinner. Okay, paint cans. 
Those look heavy enough to lock to knock someone out cold. That's a rookie mistake. Seems like a bad idea. Hmm. Hmm. Well, broken lamp. Uh, anything else in here? I don't think so. Huh. All right. Well, let's go back downstairs. Um, let's use some of these items in here. Matches. Mm, paint thinner. Pen. Okay. None of this is going to be of use. Teddy. Matches will burn him! Okay. Uh. Let's see. Let's go back downstairs, I guess. Down the stairs. And out the door. Aha! Okay. Let's go to the living room. Oh, that's where we just were. Whoops. Okay. Let's go to the closet. What is in here? Huh. Box of junk. What's this light? It looks like a black light bulb. <gasps> yes, that is awesome. A disco ball and some white clothes and I've got myself a sexy party. Okay, well, hold on. Let's see if we can get a light, a working lamp. That would be so cool. Okay, can we... Can we... Ah, that's a rookie mistake. It takes a certain type of person to have it an oil painting of themselves. Hmm. Paint thinner. <laughs> uh, I just kind of want to test out everything to make sure. Okay. Dog statue. This statue is ugly enough to be worth a lot of cash. Lantern. An old oil lantern. Seems to have some oil left too. You received lantern. <sighs> Can we combine the two? I should probably light this thing, you know, just in case. Well, that's cool. Flowers. Hmm. Okay, the bookshelf. Collection of books. Shame the dust suggests that they've not been looked at in some time. Well, I wonder if there's a secret door. Okay, well now... Uh, wait, not in the library. Back. Well, now we have that lantern we can see in spooky places. Uh, let's see. Hmm, what do we do? I think we should go back upstairs. And I think that we should go back upstairs, upstairs. The master bedroom. There was nothing in here that we needed, right? No, I think upstairs in the attic is where we need to be. That is true. Okay, we're gonna go up in the attic. We're gonna see... Black light bulb and the broken lamp. I hope this doesn't reveal somebody's attic shame. Ew, gross. Whoa! Demonic doorway. Well, that doesn't look ominous at all. Paint thinner. Rookie mistake. Marker. Sure, I can draw here, but what to add? Okay. This. Well, what do I do? Can I go through? Do I ask them about the... The, the demonic thangadu? Nope. Strange paper. Paranormal contraband. A cult for dummies with some sort of weird pattern on it. I've got it, guys! I'm figuring out the mystery! Oh, yes! This is a grand, grand, grand! Right, ready? When the paint thinner spilled, it washed some of the pattern off. I'll try to redraw it. Oh my god. Okay, Julie. Let's do this. No harm, detective, but I ain't going into that creep fest. I'll uh, stand guard out here. All right, if you want to be a big old pan- Jenny! Hey, mister. Hello, kid. Are you here to take me home? I am. Good. I was getting hungry. Oh, gosh. Whoa, the nanny! Not so fast, detective. Where's Dooley? The cop? I knocked him out. Can't have you snooping around anymore. I'm going to trap you here. <sighs> At least take the girl. Oh, I intend to. 
And I'm her legal guardian after all. It's my job to look after her. Especially if anything should happen to her parents. Say, for example, getting trapped in a dark mirror world of their bedroom. That's... That's what this is about, an inheritance scheme. Even if you would get rid of me, then what? She knows that you're what you're up to. She's a smart kid. Uh, let's go this one. You have to admit, it's a fairly perfect crime. If she's so smart, she'll know to keep her mouth shut. What about Dooley? He'll wake up and know what ha what happened. Hmm, good point. I'll just have to get you to drag him across to here with you. Come on. Nope. Okay, drag your friend in here. You're no funny business. Paint thinner. Insert witty quip here. No! Ha ha! We, we are a fighter of crime. Well, well, we did it. We did it. We did it. It's grand. So the kid got into the nanny's stuff and accidentally used the trap herself to trap herself in the dark side. That's a surprisingly useful summary of things. Yes. Shame that nanny wasn't certifiable. She was a looker. <laughs> Dooley, she was dabbling in the dark arts with an aim to lock innocent folk in a parallel world. Kidnap their kid. And steal all of their cash. I said it was a shame. Jeez. I wonder where the nanny got the occult books from anyways. That stuff is hard to find these days. A case for another day, Dooley. First of all, I have to figure out what kind of paperwork covers this mess. Well... Is that the end? I think that might be the end. That's the title screen. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed. I definitely did. It was a fun little short indie game. I know it was a short video. I'm sorry, but I will be back to my longer, more edited videos. I don't know, but I just needed to get something fun out today, and I thought that playing a fun indie game, I love playing short little indie games sometimes. They're really fun. This one was no exception. It was really very witty. I really like, I really like the art style. It was awesome. But let me know what you thought in the comment section below. So thank you guys so much for watching. And if you've gotten this far, say, Master of the Dark Arts in the comment section below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Love you all. Stay cranky. Bye. Woo! Better levels in the future. Well, Matt, this looks so awesome. So thank you so much. <laughs> Blue balls, we got green balls, green balls, we got red balls, yellow balls, pink balls, purple balls, and we got a ball in the world, we got balls! Excuse me.